Um, our next video is part uh, of our International Leaders Series, uh, this time around with uh, speaker David Rolnik from Canada. Uh, Mr. Rolnik is an assistant professor in Canada Cypher AA Chair in the School of uh, Computer Science at McGill University and at Milan. He also serves as a co-founder and chair of Climate Change AI and scientific uh, co-director of sustainability in the digital age. His research focuses on machine learning and climate change and uh, deep learning theory. Uh, he will offer us uh, some reflections on AI and climate change. We're increasingly confronted with the effects of climate change, and they're growing ever more frequent and severe. Tackling climate change means both mitigation, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, and adaptation, responding to the impacts that are inevitable. And it requires concerted global action spanning the public and private sectors. There are a wealth of opportunities for AI and machine learning to help in tackling climate change, and there are four main roles that AI can play. First, distilling large amounts of raw data into actionable information. For example, using satellite imagery to automatically track greenhouse gas emissions, pinpoint deforestation, or identify vulnerable infrastructure. Second, optimizing complex systems, such as reducing the energy to heat and cool a building, or improving the efficiency of freight transportation. Third, improving predictions, such as near-term forecasts of solar power generation that help balance the electrical grid, or predictions of agricultural yield as extreme weather threatens food security. And finally, accelerating scientific modeling and discovery, for example, by speeding up the design of better batteries and photovoltaic cells. Each of these four themes cuts across sectors, and the number of specific applications is very large. However, AI is not a silver bullet. It can be a useful tool in fighting climate change, but it's just one in society's toolkit. AI has an impact when it helps fix existing bottlenecks, information to guide policy, optimization needed by the power sector, and so on. Some problems don't need AI at all, and often the most impactful applications aren't in flashy areas like self-driving cars or nuclear fusion, but more prosaic settings like trains or cement factories. AI can have negative effects too. Like other technologies, its impact depends on how it's used, and AI is being used in many areas that increase greenhouse gas emissions like oil and gas extraction, or advertising systems that increase consumption. In some cases too, by improving efficiency, AI can lead to rebound effects. For example, if self-driving cars make driving easier and then people drive more. Aligning AI with climate action, whether in the private or public sectors, requires collaboration between experts in AI and relevant domains, as well as deployment partners. Policymakers can facilitate this work by building AI and climate capacity within relevant organizations, ensuring funding opportunities for interdisciplinary research and innovation, and considering climate-aligned opportunities when shaping AI priorities. I serve as a Canada CIFAR AI Chair as part of the Pan-Canadian AI Strategy, which emphasizes understanding the societal implications of AI and fostering a collaborative AI ecosystem. In my lab at McGill University and the Mila Quebec AI Institute, my students and I work with partners across many sectors to develop innovations in machine learning and AI driven by problems in climate change. We use AI to help design new catalysts for green chemistry, integrate faster AI-based approximations into the physics simulations used in climate models, use AI to help optimize electrical grids, and use AI-enabled camera traps and satellite imagery to understand how biodiversity is changing. I also am a co-founder and chair of Climate Change AI, a global nonprofit initiative that works to facilitate impactful applications of AI to climate change by running conferences and grants programs, building an international network of experts and key stakeholders to foster collaboration and knowledge sharing, and providing thought leadership on research and policy, including the foundational paper Tackling Climate Change with Machine Learning and a forthcoming report for the Global Partnership on AI. I would encourage anyone interested in delving further into this topic to consider reaching out to Climate Change AI or exploring our digital resources. Thank you.